Hello, my name is Natalie and today I'm going to do a Halloween yoga class for you. So I am wearing dark purple which is my most Halloween appropriate yoga outfit and there is a pumpkin next to my yoga mat so that you know it's a Halloween yoga class. Anyways, I hope you enjoy. Let's get started with the yoga class. this yoga class at the front of your mat so come right to the front bring your toes together and your heels slightly apart we're going to start by rolling our shoulders one time so inhale roll them up to your ears and down the back to create a nice length and a little bit of release in the shoulders let's go one more time okay we're going to start with our first Halloween yoga pose which is vampire pose inhale you're going to come onto your tiptoes Bring your arms up to a V shape here. You can really open your chest here as well. Exhale, come all the way down. Two more times, so inhale, bring your arms up, open your chest. Exhaling, all the way down. Last time, inhale, open up your chest and shoulders and exhaling, coming all the way down. So we are on to our next Halloween pose, which is zombie. Bring your arms out in front of you, palms facing each other. And we're gonna bring the right leg up to 90 degrees here. Inhale, exhale, swing your leg all the way back, coming into warrior three pose here. Making sure your hips are square to the ground. Don't let your hip open out. So make sure it's nice and down. And when you're ready, we're going to come into half moon pose. So drop your left arm down slightly to the left corner of your mat, maybe outside of your mat. Okay, and open up the right hip here. Bring your arm onto your hip to help you balance. Once you've found the balance, you can look sideways to the right side and extend your arm up. We're going to hold it for one breath here. Embrace the wobble. And then exhale, bring your arm, your right arm down, your leg, your right leg down. And we're going to meet in a forward fold, in a ragdoll pose. So grab hold of your elbows, relax your head, and just sway from side to side here. If you need to, you can bend your knees slightly as well. Take a couple of deep breaths here, really relax your head, relax your neck, your shoulders, give everything a shake side to side. And on the next inhale, we're going to roll all the way up, you can release the elbows, rolling up, your shoulders are the last thing to come up, roll them back. And we're ready to do our zombie pose on the other side. So this time, once again, arms come out in front, palms facing each other. This time we are onto our left leg. So inhale, lift your left leg up. Exhale, bring it, swing it back into your warrior three. Embrace the wobble, make sure your hip is down to the ground. Don't let it open up. Always keep it nice and square. Then we're going to bring the right arm out to the side and down slightly. Left arm on your left hip and you can start opening the hip here. I'm keeping my gaze to the ground to help me balance. Once I'm balanced, I'm going to turn it sideways and extend the arm, keeping the left foot flexed here. Take a deep breath here. And then on the next exhale, I'm bringing my left arm down, my left leg down, and once again, we're going to meet in ragdoll pose. Grab a hold of the opposite elbows, and let your head relax here, swinging from side to side, bending the knees if you need to. This time we're not going to roll up, we're going to plant our hands beside our feet. Okay, if you need to, you can bend your knees and we're going to slowly walk back into a downward dog. So step all the way back into your downward dog. Feet hip distance apart, hands in line with your shoulders and 
relax here, you can pedal your dog one side at a time. Gaze in between the toes. And when you're ready, we're going to hold the down dog for just a minute. Take a deep breath in, really feel the stretch in the back of the legs. Try and force your heels down a little bit further. You can always bend your legs here. And then next part, we're going to shift into a plank here. Now this pose is called the werewolf. So you're gonna bring your right fingertips out in front in your plank. Your left leg is going to lift like this. So this is the werewolf pose. Okay, and stepping back, let's do the other side. So left fingertip out in front, right leg lifts, knee to elbow, and then back to plank. Okay, from here, we're going to drop the knees. We're gonna have a little relax in cat pose. Okay, so cat pose. Inhale, we're gonna push out the upper back really round the spine, chin in towards the chest. We're gonna take a few breaths here, just in cat pose. Usually we do cat cow, but it's Halloween themed, so we're just doing cat. Really round through the spine, relax your head, when you're ready, come back to neutral table here. We are going to come back into our downward dog. So tuck your toes, push through the hands, through the feet, up into your downward dog. From here, we're going to lift the right leg up and step it forwards in between our hands. We're going to come up here and we're going to shift into our pyramid pose. So you might need to adjust your stance slightly, the back foot at 45 degrees hips square to the front and both legs straight. You might need to bend your front knee, that's fine as well. This is going to be the mummy pose. So mummy coming out of the tomb. So we're gonna bring our arms out in front of us here and really reach here. Try to keep a nice long spine scooting out of the tomb. You're going to want to make sure that your hips don't open up to the side. You want to keep them nice and square to the front. And hold it here for a few breaths. It doesn't matter if you're here. You might be a lot further down. Just as long as your spine is nice and long. And keep your neck in line with your spine. And then we're going to bend our right leg. Bring our hands down and we're going to step back into downward dog. So lift the right leg up, back into your downward dog. Take a breath here. Inhale, left leg lift. Same on the other side, we're going to step it forwards. We're going to come into our pyramid stance. So back foot at 45 degrees, you come up here and then straighten your front leg. To make the balance easier, you might need to adjust the width a little bit keeping your hips square to the front. Inhale, bring the arms out in front of you, palms facing each other, and we're gonna lean forward, the mummy coming down to the tomb. And again, doesn't matter where you are, just keep your back nice and straight. One more breath here. Exhale, bring your hands down, bend your left leg, and come into downward dog. One breath here. Exhale, and bring it into cat pose once more. So inhale, round through the spine, really push through the hands, chin in towards the chest. Take two breaths here.
happy baby pose. Okay, here we go. This can be our dead doll Halloween pose and we can rock from side to side. So you're just going to bring your hands on the outside of your feet. You can grip the toes as well. Okay, and then start gently pulling down on your feet, opening up the hips here. Okay, um, your goal is to keep your back on the mat. So if that means that you grip a hold of um, your shins here and pull down, that's totally fine. You don't want to round up, just relax here. Rock from side to side. And then find some stillness. Take another deep breath. Release your legs. We're going to come into a final resting pose, corpse pose. So extend your legs out on your mat. Feet dropping out to the side, palms facing up, making sure there's no tension in the shoulders. Start closing your eyes, allowing your breath to return to normal. Make sure every muscle in your face is relaxed. Make sure you're not holding any tension in your jaw. Really relax here. And you can stay here for as long as feels good to you. watching this Halloween inspired yoga class I really hope you enjoyed I did want to mention that a lot of the poses that I was using the Halloween inspired names for them came from um, online so I will link it down below and um, they have some really great ideas for Halloween themed yoga poses so if you want to see some more click the link below and um, yes I hope you have a lovely Halloween and I will see you in my next video goodbye